Hi, I'm Adam Drake from Mugen Siki Racing. Today I'm going to talk about shock oil and diff oil and how often it should be changed and if it needs to be changed or adjusted if there's a drastic change in temperature. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about shock fluid and diff fluid. I'm asked all the time how often you should change your shock fluid or your diff fluid. And there's no real dead set answer to that. Um, a lot of it comes down to how serious of a race you are or how big the event is. Um, another thing that can play a really big factor in it is the type of track conditions that you're running in. So for me, I wouldn't really say like after X amount of days it's a must or you know a requirement to change your shock or diff fluid, but in general with your diffs I would say every three to four race days um, or up to two gallons and with your shocks um, pretty much the same but with your shocks it's really important pay close attention to your shock boots if the shock boots get torn it'll scratch the shock shafts the guide bushings and the o-rings also allow dust and dirt to get into the shocks if that's the case you're gonna for sure need to change uh, your shock fluid more often um, one thing with shock fluid though that is very important that I think often overlooked is if you're racing a bigger event where you do the majority of your qualifying or your running during the day and then your final is at night is you'll need to adjust the shock fluid for those conditions and if if the temperature only changes you know three to five degrees maybe not a big deal no no real need to change it but if there's a more drastic change in temperature like 10 or 15 degrees I normally like to drop uh, 50 weight in the rear and the front if your car has a really good balance throughout the day you'll want to make that adjustment equal front to rear so that you keep that same balance um, but you could also have the opposite effect. If, you're, if you ran your last qualifier at night and next, qual next day it's a lot hotter and you're running during the day, you may need to go from uh, 400 to 450, increase the shock oil. Um, but again, if your car has a good balance, don't be afraid to make small adjustments or changes so that it keeps that same balance um, as the weather changes. As far as the diffs go, I don't really change the differentials based on temperature. Um, you run much thicker fluids in the diffs, and the diffs end up uh, building heat and kind of having an operating temperature uh, regardless of the ambient temperature outside. So the diffs I pretty much adjust due to uh, the track conditions or the amount of traction, but with the shocks you will adjust um, or make changes with outside temperature. I'm not going to really go into uh, tuning with the shock oil too much. I have a video I did a while back on that, but um, just to kind of recap, um, as far as when to change your fluids, um, I would say every three to four race days, um, as long as shock boots are intact and you don't have any problems with your diffs uh, seeping or leaking any fluid. Uh, that's a pretty safe number um, that you can get out of both shock fluid and diff fluid. Uh, 